Let's start with the most violent and powerful film that I've seen so far at the Cannes Film Festival. There is a little bit of blood, but it's the emotional torture that's devastating. The Hunt tells the story of a blameless man whose life collapses because of a lie about child abuse. It's Thomas Vinterberg's best movie since Festen, which won the jury prize at the festival 13 years ago. That too focused on paedophilia, and flung the Danish director onto the international scene. With this difficult but riveting watch, she's back to compete for the big prize, the Palm Door, propelled by the lead man, Mads Mikkelsen's shattering performance. Have you ever been in that situation where you're telling the truth and no one believes you? Yeah, I think I've, I've tried that before. Uh, and, and it's, but Luckily, not with a grave, grave subject like this one. I mean, this, this is just... It, nobody likes to be, to be accused of anything if it's false. Uh, but especially having had stuff with a, with a kid, it's, it's, it's unbearable to think about. One of the things I noticed in the film is you see how masculine bonds can so easily be broken, even friendships that date back years and years. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you think that's real life? Because it's a bit depressing. I it, don't it's... think they can easily be broken. I think they have a very, very hard time breaking them. Uh, you have to understand, I'm, we, we're, we're talking about my best friend's daughter, right? So if the daughter is telling the truth and everybody else is saying that she's telling the truth, he has a very hard time breaking his bonds with me. He's in his life's dilemma. It's ruining him. It's breaking him. Uh, so I don't think it's that easy just to break the bonds, I must say. If it was you and it was your daughter and it was your best friend, what would you do? I, I was actually thinking about that. Uh, and, but I think that what they do in the film, the, the character they bring life to, Thomas and Thomas Bolasen, who's, who's the actor, I think it's very spot on. I think it's the dilemma of should I open the door, should I close the door? Should I kill him, should I embrace him? I, I think that's very truthful. I think that is pretty much what you would do in a situation like that. Now, you've also been played many characters in your career, but you also played the villain in <laughs> Casino Royale. I hope our little game isn't causing you to perspire. Here you're playing the good guy. Mm -hmm. What do you prefer? I like them both. I, I have to find something likeable in the, in, the, in the baddies, and you have to find some, um, some flaws in the good guys. You have to find their weaknesses. You have to find their, their little mistakes. And, um, so I, I try to make them go hand in hand with bad guys and good guys. Let's just try and ignore the fact that we're in the middle of a store. We're in can. <laughs> when sunny can. Right. <laughs> um, describe your can experience to us. What's it like? <laughs> well, besides the wind and the rain, uh, it's been amazing. I've been here several times. Uh, I've never had a film in a competition, and this is my first time doing that. Uh, so I get to do that little funny U-turn with the, with the car and stuff, <laughs> and the red carpet thing. So uh, we're enjoying it. We're enjoying that's a lot of attention on our film. Uh, and uh, because we are proud of it, and we want as many people to see it as possible. 